but I think it's a pretty good option because the other team, obviously, this is their golden moment, you know, yeah. to be able to get rid of me. I, most likely, that's what's going to happen. Common sense makes me think that I'm going up. Everybody wants me out of here with the exception of a vet. If um, all six people standing in line had been struck by lightning, I'm assuming I might have gotten away with this one. Rachel pull herself off. I'll go on. Who the hell knows what's going on? <laughs> what the hell are you thinking about that? But I mean, who knows in this house? Do you see how upset they're getting? Because Janelle's still up there. Mm -hmm. And because Jason wanted to try to get it so he'd be safe. Should we get rid of this? Is the case, sir? <laughs> He's the double headed snake. If any of us five want to at least have some opportunity of staying in this game, Kaser has got to go. James is at a vulnerable point. He's at a weak point. We can grab him and use him to our advantage. It is so dangerous to keep Kaser in this game. That brought up a great point. Okay, Rachel's gonna take herself off. Janelle's not going home this week. What about putting up Kaser? We can't do things that are nice anymore exactly. in this game. I do have a problem with giving your word and going back on it. Last week, eight of us, everyone except for James and Sarah, met in the HOH room, and we made a promise. No matter what, James will go home. But I need to stop pushing. You gave your word, you gave your word, because no one else is playing that way. But I feel so bad if we were to do that, because he just got back from America's Choice, and now here he's gone the first week. Well, that would us be us saying, this is our game, not America. Exactly. Yeah, this is our game. Oh, way to piss off America, Maggie. They pissed me off by not putting Eric back in here. Damn you, America. I had Kaser evicted, and he still came back. I have no idea which is worse to me right now. Someone that we keep trying to get rid of, and he won't go away, or someone we actually physically removed from this house and was given right back to us with a little bow on him. Oh, I have a headache. Do you want us to leave? You can yeah. come right back. It's just, I have to well, no, go quick. Tonight. I listen to some of the stuff to hear what they have to say. I just don't want them to think that by them attacking me all week to try to sway my vote, it's not going to happen. If Jenny screws us over, she's going home. She doesn't want to go home yet. As long as James puts up on the hot seat, there's no reason to doubt that they're, they're playing a dirty gun. Just play. It's fine. Let's just not get down like this. We're annoying the house at all times. I'm glad you got the veto because I want you to go on next week with confidence. I don't trust 100% that Jennifer will put James up. There is a chance that she could put Howie up just to still try and break us up. They agreed to it. I hope they stick to it. That's all I can say. Don't worry. Don't stress out and stuff. I mean, they went right upstairs. Of course. Actions be loud to the room. Be so worried. Yeah. Jennifer would be dumb to leave James in the game because she doesn't want people to hate her. If she does do it, we will definitely, definitely make her pay the price for it. My God is telling me we'll be okay. And next week we terrorize her. So I'm actually glad that this is your decision and not mine. I just want to know individually. I'm going to ask you a question. Go for it. And I don't want you to take into consideration how the group feels or how anyone in the group feels. Pretend you're selfish right now. I am selfish. And you're head of household. Who would you get rid of? I don't know. You have to give me an answer. You wanted me to be honest with you. Kaser. Why would you get rid of Kaser against James? Because he's able to run that group. And you think that's a bigger threat than what James is capable of? There may be a chance that he doesn't put us up. There's no chance that Kaser will not put us up. Good luck. Don't tell anybody what we talked about. Nope. Bo! I really wanted to hear how they truly, truly thought deep down with their heart. And so I individually called my group up into the room. Here's what I'm going to ask you. Okay. You're head of household. Mm hmm Could you vote off? I'm head of household. Okay, Mr. Jones. James. Only for the fact because I know I have more of a chance to beat Chaser and Vito. Than I do getting James in a video. Because James is a stronger competitor. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. <sighs> I'd pick off Kaser because I had a bad vibe about Kaser. This is the first week, and I wanted to pick him off the first week. Now I want to hear from you why you would get rid of James. I would get rid of James because James has gone back on his word a number of times, but 
to be honest, I've been fearing Kaser since I saw him the first week. Are we going to give him a second chance to come back and screw us? I mean, I feel we could still dominate them if they don't have him. I don't know. Okay. It's a sticky situation. Who do you want off, Kaser or James? Oh. <sighs> do I would get Kaser off because Kaser is the leader of that group. Kaser, who really is, much as he says he's not pissed, he's pissed off at you. I've taken into account all the reasons that my group has given me for Kaser and for James, and it's, it really is. It's making me think. So it is up in the air, and um, I really don't want um, anyone to know what decision I'm going to make. I just want to be the one to make up my own mind. So I don't want even my group nor April to know what I'm doing until the time comes. Don't tell anybody what we talked about. No. Like nothing. We've got to save our ass. Let's get Jen will not tell me what her next move is going to be. She is 100% independent woman. Jen is this storm that has just not, you know, hit land yet. But if you want to know if other people are feeling differently, you need to ask them. All right. Well, I want to. I don't want to question what you're doing, but I know. But you're going to. I'm going to. <laughs> um. I know you like to keep things to yourself, and you, you mm -hmm. haven't told anyone what you're doing, but just give me some assurance that everything's going to go according to plan. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Honestly, I don't think Jennifer has the courage to leave James in the game. Based on logic, I don't see her doing it. Pretty much just wanted to touch base with you before okay. tomorrow. the only one who's asked me since... The nomination ceremony. <laughs> Nobody's talked to me about anything. I know I made a deal with Kaser to have him give me HOH, but things in this house change on a dime. And when you get an opportunity in front of your face, sometimes you have to run with it. I was so We're bad. <laughs> <laughs> if Kaser wanted his plan to go through, the only person you can trust in this game is yourself. And he should have kept his finger on that button. I'm evil. I'm trusting that Jennifer will make the right decision. James should be the one going up today. It was the house's wish, want, and decision to do that. But Jennifer, you never know what's going through her mind. She could do anything. She could put Kaser up. She could put Howie up. She could even do something so off the wall as putting Yvette up. Hey everyone, it's time for the veto ceremony. Please gather in the living room. Oh, oh, oh. Rachel, oh. Welcome to the veto ceremony. As you know, Janelle and I have been nominated for eviction, but I won the power of veto to uh, veto one of those nominations. At this time, Janelle, you want to go ahead and stand up and let me know why I should use the veto on you. Well, I'm not going to stand, but I will say that, Rachel, just do what you have to do. 